figure of 19.9 million survivors. Speaking at a forum in Lagos Thursday, the activists called for more enlightenment campaigns and implementation of all existing laws to protect women from sexual and domestic violence. I know do the second size. If they are fights when woman won't give birth, if they are fights, and even for the marriage, they affect the marriage also. Fatima Daudu lives in Oroshoki area of Lagos State. She had a female genitalia cut off at the age of nine years, and the impact of the act on her marriage has been devastating. Like Fatima, millions of young women and girls are being robbed of their childhood, health and aspirations every day by the age-long barbaric practice. Most people that are circumcised, they are not happy. Some lose their home due to the situation. It can lead to a sudden death or excess bleeding in that and two, it may prevent them to have free interaction or sexual interaction when they are even engaged. Particularly alarmed that uh, such a harmful, outdated, retrogressive practice still thrives in uh, metropolitan Lagos. Seeing that this thing do not really help our society, it doesn't help anyone at the end of the day, if they are committed, if they are really pro-people, if they are really gender sensitive, then they will be in a position to put an end to female genital mutilation, just like the world saw an end to uh, slave trading, saw an end to the killing of twins. The sensitization campaign by CEO Foundation at Oworoshoki had traditional leaders, health workers and members of the Child Protection Network as participants. Oshuomowa Daniels, AIT News, Lagos. A suspected notorious drug kingpin who specializes in sponsoring young Nigerians to traffic Class A drugs to Europe, especially Italy, has been arrested by the operatives of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA. Spokesman of NDLEA, Femi Baba Femi, said the suspect, Charles Wagwale, was arrested in his hotel room in a Okota area of Lagos State Friday when he was preparing a recruited 